So we're still following all this weather out of the northeast, the remnants of Hurricane Ida, spawning tornadoes, heavy rain, heavy winds as well. We have a live look right now. This is in New York City at the moment. And you can see there the rain coming down. We're still learning now that the tornado warning the National Weather Service issued for parts of New York City, uh, they've let expire. And so uh, good news for New York City residents at the moment, but we're still uh, monitoring all the latest and we're getting reports in kind of by the minute here about certain things that have gotten suspended in New York. We're learning that play has been suspended during the second round of the U.S. Open. The major tennis tournament taking place as we speak in Queens, New York, uh, due to wind and rain at Louis Armstrong Stadium. So the second round of play has been suspended for that major tennis championship in New York City. We're also learning uh, that Newark Airport in New Jersey they just tweeted, due to severe weather in the Northeast, contact your airline for flight information prior to arriving at the airport. We are getting just local reporting to suggest that there's been flooding in the baggage carousel area. Also that uh, the air traffic control tower had to be evacuated for a time. But I wanted to give an update about 25 minutes ago from the National Weather Service in New York. They said, we have been seeing rainfall rates of at least three to five inches an hour in northeast New Jersey uh, and portions of New York City. The Newark airport reported 3.24 inches between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern time, local time. We also have the radar as well up. We want to put that up. You can see it's just kind of hovering over areas of the northeast, still New Jersey, still New York City, moving upwards into Connecticut. But as you know, Today, uh, South Jersey experienced multiple tornadoes touching down. We have cell phone video of some of those tornadoes that uh, touched down in South Jersey, causing extensive damage. Uh, we're going to air some of those right now. Uh, also, viewer discretion is advised. Some of, the, some of them might contain uh, profanity. We're going to take the audio down, but you can see some of the funnel clouds. Let's put these up for a moment. So there you can see massive tornadoes touching down in South Jersey. This was in Mullica Hill today. And this is the remnants of post-tropical cyclone Ida. It was expected to bring widespread rain and life-threatening flash flooding as the storm moved through the Northeast. That was according to the National Weather Service. Uh, but these are new videos we're getting in from Storyful, it's a user that kind of aggregates and collects all of these social media videos that have been posted online. We have access to them, thankfully, but you can see there some of these residents running for cover as the tornado touches down. This is in southwestern New Jersey, but you can see the rotation and the circulation up in the clouds there. Let's just listen in very briefly. And you can hear the wind just whipping very crazy, crazy videos. I, I can't tell you. This is really uh, insane to watch, especially in New Jersey of all places. This is in Mullica Hill, where extensive damage was caused. Local media reported homes in the area were destroyed. Several other possible tornadoes were reported in the state as well. But this video was taken by Matt DeAngelis, this large funnel cl cloud. Let's listen back in. Large destructive tornado right behind that house. And we have just another video we wanted to bring to you as well out of New Jersey, another vantage point of one of these funnel clouds that was captured earlier this afternoon. 
And this is again in Mullica Hill, as these tornado emergencies were declared in parts of New Jersey and Pennsylvania. This video shows a funnel cloud spitting in the community of Mullica Hill again. This is in New Jersey's Gloucester County. Look at that, making its way through what appears to be a residential area. You can see uh, some people out of their cars trying to capture this. This is another vantage point as well. This is captured by Brad Cardis via Storyful. Uh, and right now, I believe it is the same place in New Jersey. Uh, and so we've really gotten a lot of incredible video in today as these emergencies were declared. This footage is in actually Burlington City, New Jersey, not very far from Mullica Hill, showing these funnel clouds moving through these residential areas. Let's listen in again to see if we can hear this video. And then again, we do have one more video we want to show you of yet another vantage point. Let's listen into this. right outside someone's back porch, someone's back deck. Could you imagine seeing that coming towards you? Uh, and so this is really, really something to behold here that happened this afternoon uh, in an area of the country where this does not happen every day. Anyway,